Hi, welcome to another Max 7 tutorial. This is number 47. VJ Looper Improvements. Well, here's where we were, and this thing is really cool. We uh, took a JIT QT movie, and you, know, you guys all know what we did. And then <clears throat> we just read the crash test movie, and then we can change the in and out points to shorten them and we can change it to a regular loop and well that's actually just about all we can do so let's just stop this thing um, and you know uh, what self-respecting VJ is going to put up with this we need to make some really cool improvements and so one of the things that um, would be good to be able to control is the speed at which this thing runs and that's a fairly simple thing to do um, all you've got to do is send it a number the uh, JIT QT movie followed by uh, excuse me with the with the uh, what do you call it? The message. First a message. The prepended message rate. So let's go ahead and do that and um, what we're going to do is run into some complications but let's just get on it. We unlock our patcher because we're fearless. Um, let's, um, let's start off by making a new slider. So we'll just put an N slider and do that and for things that have to do with jitter, for example, speed and such, we're going to want to work on this slider. So we're going to come over here and say that uh, first we want to float the output. We want the um, range to just be, uh, let's make it 4, so that, well, 4.0 so that we can go twice as fast forward and twice as fast backward and then the output minimum is going to be a negative 2.0 let's see if that takes sometimes it doesn't like it and it throws it back out multiplier is one and that all looks good i think it'll work um i always just wish it would uh, uh um, start at zero. There's, a, of course, an easy way to do that, not at zero, at one, which is to put the message 1.0 at the top. Hey, whoa, whoa. Unlock the patcher message. Type an M. Type 1.0. Sorry, I'm r really ahead of myself today. Can you tell I had too much coffee at lunch? There we go. Okay. So here's where we're going to be. Boink. That's not even possible. If this thing goes from negative 2 to positive 2, hmm, do I believe that for a second? Let's put another message down here and see what's really coming out of this stupid thing. Okay. Oh, right. <sighs> Okay, so what we really want to do, people, I know this isn't going to make any sense to you whatsoever, but instead of having to add the offset to get, I always forget about this, I, and I don't know why it is, if you change the, uh, if you put a negative number in a slider, the number that comes in the top is whatever number you it doesn't give you the right number. So what we really need to put in here is 3.0 to get 1 out the bottom. And you'll see, you'll understand why, because we start at negative 2, and then 3 minus 2 is going to equal 1. So watch what happens. We lock our patcher, and then we hit 3, boom, and we get 1. But that's what we wanted in the first place, and we don't care what this thing says, because what we really want it to do is just say uh, normal. Okay, so this is going to be our speed control right here and it's going to go up and down and then we're going to have it um, 
you know, I'm going to just show you a different way to do this. I could just put prepend rate, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put a message here that says rate, um, and then the dollar sign one, uh, one point, one point, no, just one, dollar sign one, and that means string. So whatever comes into this message fills in the string one part. So it's going to say rate, string one, and then that will come out of here and go up to JIT QT movie. There we go. So with that in mind, everything should work perfectly, right? So let's just go ahead and start. Oh, it's pretty good. I like it. Well, that's just fabulous. It's working perfectly. Okay. That's our first VJ improvement. Let's stop that because we can't take too much of that. And then the other thing is that we just have this one crash test movie here. And that certainly does get a little bit boring. So let's go ahead and make a U menu. So um, unlock your patcher again. Type a new, type U menu. And then here, if you don't mind me just taking a moment to gripe here. Max MSP Cycling 74. I love you, I love you, but sometimes you're just idiots. Okay, check this out. So U menu, if you want it to auto populate, which means fill itself up from a certain um, folder, you can go ahead and choose this and go find your folder. But just watch what happens if we want to go choose our max application it's grayed out it's no longer a folder and there's no way to open it even though we know darn well that inside of this folder there is there are the the movies that we want to play well that certainly makes things incredibly difficult but there's a workaround for it, and I'm just going to show you what that is, which is you go over here to the file browser. Hello, file browser. And if you don't already have it open here, you'll probably get something like home. Go to kinds, and then go down here to video. And then what you get is this list of videos that come with Max MSP. And you say, um, what do you say? You say, where in the heck do those come from? So you click on any movie. Okay, B-Ball, Ozone. They're all in the same place. Down here it says the path is C74 Media Jitter. Well, you can highlight that and copy it. That's Command-C on a Mac. Boom. And then just close that. And then type a message type a message to your U menu, M, and type prefix. Prefix means it's going to look in that folder and then put it, that, just uh, paste that in there. C74 media jitter and connect those. But before you go hitting that button, we'll just highlight that. You have to come, uh, highlight your U menu, go into the inspector, and click the auto populate box. There you go. And that means as soon as you click this, it will fill up with everything that's in this folder. So watch what happens here. We click out here, we close our patcher. Boom, look at that. Filled in B ball. But we ended up with all this junk in here that we don't really want. Oh man, uh, what's an EXR? I don't even know. A fuzz circle JPEG. 
I don't want that in here. I just want movies. What can I do? Well, there's a solution to that, too. Let's unlock our patcher again. Click on B-Ball. And then go over here and under Types, it's the File Types. And those are the types of files that it will allow in there. And since it's empty right now, it allows everything in there. But if you type in here, and this is hard to find, capital M, small o, small o, capital V, it will only let moo v files in there. So I'm going to say OK, boom. And now when we come back over here, you'll see that it has only the movie files in here. So we've gotten it to do that. So how do you know how to type movie in there? Well, it's kind of a long story, but if you went under here to the... I'll explain it another time. We don't have time for that crap today. Okay. Unlock your patcher again. Let's take this whole thing and stick it up here. I think we could safely get rid of the read crash test movie. Now, remember some important things here. One is that when this thing reads this movie, a number will come out here, and the name will come out here. So this name that has to be prepended by, um, by read, um, we're just going to make a new object there, n, prepend, read. There we go. And move that over here. And make sure that it comes out the middle outlet, which is the one that puts a word out. And then that goes down to jitter QT movie. And then we need one other thing, which is that we need to get the duration. And that, I think you can just hook that up directly, and it'll just whack on it when it reads it. That's all good. Okay, and then uh, what was the other thing? I know I'm forgetting something. So we'll get the duration. Oh, and then we'll need to um, establish some loop points. Ooh, that'll be tricky. Or will it? Let's see what happens first. Okay. B-ball movie. Blading movie. Let's see what happens here. Okay, there's our blading movie. And what we notice is that our loop points have just been at 0 and 7240. Well, that's fantastic, because I'd rather they didn't do anything right at the outset anyway. I'd like to have control over that later. So then if we do this... We can write on. Nice. Okay, but have you seen that at high speed? Woo! Go, kid, go! Palindrome! It kind of gets musical, as everything does when you speed it up. Okay, so that's looking good. We now have our rate running. Uh, here, we'll put it at normal speed. And uh, we've got this thing running. So, boom. So, uh, what else do we need to make our uh, video DJ work even better? Um, my guess is <clears throat> that what you really want is a big old preset object. And the reason for that is obvious, because then you can store different settings. So let's unlock the patcher, go ahead, type an N, preset, put that up there. Hello, preset. And so preset can store what movie you're watching, because now you have this um, U menu here. 
it can store what direction your movie's playing, because it has that here. It should be able to store um, what your um, blah, 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 rate is. I have to go all the way around on this one. And hopefully also we'll be able to store what our minimum and maximum points are. I just don't see any good way to get to those, so I'm just going to go this way. Though I know I'm going to regret it, because I always want to put things over there later. Here, I'm going to do this... Uh, there we go. Make sure that actually gets onto your um, slider, not anywhere else. You'll notice that uh, these patch cords have this kind of propensity to jump to the next available object. There we go. So hopefully now if we uh, put a bunch of different things in here, I'll just uh, lock my patcher and reset things and do them in order. So we'll start with basketball, looping here to here, and going regular. And we'll call that setting number one. Shift and click to set. And then we'll go to blading and we'll turn it up. Woohoo! To super fast. And uh, we'll make the points much, much shorter. Oh, I like that. How could you forget that? And we'll make it a. I like it just the way it is. It couldn't be better. And then. Um, <laughs> almost can't stand to watch it. I thought we'll take we'll take some more out of the blading one. Palindrome. There we go. I like him kind of backing up there. That's nice. A little slower. And that'll be number three, shifting, save on number three. And uh, just one more, and I'll stop this craziness. Uh, the O movie. Uh, nice. There we go. And that'll be number four. So let's just see if everything's working here. Here's one. Notice that it completely ignored the uh, points here. Number two. Completely ignores these points. Number three. Completely ignores. Okay, so part of the problem there is that it's setting all these things at the same time and it's probably using the word set or something like that, which causes no output. We want it to hit these things and output them, and so what I'm going to do here is um, I am going to use the second outlet, which normally just says what the number is of this preset. I'm going to use that to trigger a bang. Put a bang there. And I'm going to just put a very, very short delay on it. New delay. Uh, 20, 20 milliseconds, that should do it. And then connect this to all the sliders. 
So that one, that one, and this one. I know that's pretty messy stuff there, but um, you know, sometimes you gotta live fast. Okay, so let's see how this works now. <laughs> Other than losing my sound perfectly. Yep. Perfect. See, look at that. So now we have made a video DJ piece of equipment worth talking about. And so then all we would really have to do is kind of, um, uh, what would you, what would you say? Um, make this thing pretty to, uh, to have something, uh, worth, worth selling worth selling, whatever, worth using. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. M, uh, I'm just gonna put uh, uh, normal. And put that on there. Um, you know, these things should just run. We don't really wanna stop them from running. Um, so as soon as you load a movie, the Metro is going to start, so why not just make it a message of one? There we go. And, uh, anything else? Well, we'll see. We'll just try to do this real quick, okay? So let's pick all the objects that we want to um, include in the presentation. That would be this normal, and then you hold your shift key down. It would be this. Um, obviously, these two sliders. We want that P window too, but I can't get at it. Oh yeah, I'll, I I know how to do it. And then we don't care about that. Um, we just care about this, 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 uh, that, and I think that's good. Well, we just include that in the presentation. Then we go and move this thing out of the way. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but then we take this thing and include that in the presentation. And <laughs> I can't think of any way to move all that other stuff back. What am I going to do? I'll just move these three back and call it done. Everything else is just all confused now. It's okay. So now we go to presentation mode and we rearrange it all. So here's speed. Um, that can be normal. There's speed. The O movie. Stop. Loop. Loop points. And Put this right here. Oh, I guess this isn't looking quite as good as I hoped. Ah, you know, sometimes they look better than others. And then this thing, we could just have it go across the top, right? Like that, and like that. There we go. So now we need uh, just one other new object. Whoop, whoop, not that kind of new object. That was a command, just a type an N, panel, and uh, there it is. 
we'll format it and make it pink video player that's pink I don't know and the uh, whoops what happened there and the uh, other oh that's sorry uh, the other side of the gradient um, we'll just try something weird and try uh, blue how's that I think that's gonna be kind of weird looking about gray no orange no purple ah I, I don't know blue there we go okay so let's just leave it the way it is there good so uh, you always have to love this which is there and arrange it send it to the back nice there it is and we can lock it down and let's see how it works uh, we'll push normal yeah oh there is no sound to this until he does his basketball thing and since he's never going to do his basketball thing let's get that basketball thing I like the palindrome on this that's much better so we'll redo that one there we go yeah 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 Whew. so there you have it that was a lot but there it is your super duper vj player with all the things you might need practically to uh vj some video this would be one player and then if you had another one imagine how nice that would be hmm we're thinking about Okay, I'll be back with more next time. Thanks for watching. Patch well.